Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Fireman Dan here, and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers, well, tutorial. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful space rock, otherwise known as an asteroid. So today I figured we would go through and build what I consider the most important ship you can build. So I want you to ask yourself, when I say the most important ship you can build, what do you think it is? Pause the video, think about it, leave a comment, tell me what you think. What I think the absolute most important ship you can build would be your miner. Why do I think of a miner? Well, you can't build anything without resources, and in order to get the resources, you got to mine them. Sure, you can mine them by hand, but that's going to take forever just to get anywhere, any, any kind of amount of resources. So hence, the miner is the most important ship you can build. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's grab a few things. First off, let's grab the light armor block. Let's grab a cockpit. Now I'm going to use the industrial cockpit because, well, that's what it's for. And it, well, it, it gives you a better view to work with. However, if you see this little symbol down here, this has come part of the deal as part of one of the DLC packs. I can't remember which one specifically. If you don't have the DLC pack, you might have to use the regular cockpit or the, or the fighter cockpit, but I'm going, going to use the industrial cockpit. Next, we're going to need to power it, so let's grab some batteries. I'm going to use batteries, but once again, you can use whatever you want. Uh, let's grab cargo. So what do we want? Um, Large or medium? I'm going to go with medium. We'll just add a couple more. That way we can still try to keep the size relatively compact, you know, height and width wise. Length isn't too big of an issue. And all right, let's get started with that. Just gonna pull this in here. Default, all right. So there's our starting block, right? Come on a little bit here. Let's grab our cockpit. So let's uh, we'll throw that on right there. Next, let's get symmetry mode set up here. Yep, okay. That off. Actually, probably don't even need that. Ah, screw it. We'll start with the cockpit. Now let's set up some batteries. All right. Mm, we we'll do it that way. We we'll do it. Well. Uh. Don't matter how you put them on. Now I am using batteries, as you can see, and the reason being is. We are going to build this as a space miner using ion thrusters. So the thrusters don't use as much power because they're not fighting gravity. If you were down on the planets, you may want to consider a more powerful power source. Um, batteries are, are great, but you may want to think of like the arc reactor pack that I've displayed earlier. And also another reason I'm using batteries is they're cheap to build, and other than recharging them off like your base or something, it doesn't take any any resources to run them. All right, so we got a power source set up. So let's go in here. Let's go ahead and just set the batteries up. Yeah. I like to keep my tool bars, two bars, ah, control panel bars, nice and clean because it's easier to find things when you need them. All right, next we need some cargo containers. Now, where do I want the cargo? Well, it really don't matter where we put them, but mm, let's put, yeah, let's go back one. One, two. Why is it symmetry mode working? There we go. Whatever reason, 
tree removal drone. Alright, that'll be good in cargo containers. There's plenty of room. Now next... Well, let's go in here. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go terminal off. Next, we need the drills. Now, when you, when you put drills on... Let me just show you something. The drill bit itself, it covers an area a little bigger than the drill head. Maybe one block out, I think, or, or is it two? From on, on all sides, right? So when you when you build a miner, if you're just getting started building a first one, it's okay just to have one drill head, maybe splat, slap it on a front somewhere. But the problem is you can't, it won't encompass the entire the entire ship. So as you're like coming down here mining into this asteroid, eventually you're going to hit Oops. Whoops. Eventually you're going to hit like the cockpit or something because the hole's not big enough for the whole ship to fit into. So whenever you do this, you need to make well, kinda kinda like a almost like a ring of, of drills. You could put say three, maybe like one here, one in the middle, one on the bottom, and then say one on the very bottom here, and one on the top here, or you can do the way I'm going to do it here. So, I'll show you this. To drills. Alright, so I put that on there for a reason, and you'll see why. So next up, let's do this here. Is it working? I think it's up to four. Right, so see how kind of this will cover the top of the ship, and we'll do the same thing on the bottom. Then we'll make that look nice and neat. So what is it? One, two, three, and then one, two. And we'll throw the drill there. Right. Did I just pump that again? No, I didn't. Okay, but now we got to pipe everything in place. So. I'm just going to put this on here. Put that and that can come off. Over. Down. Up. Right. And then we'll do the same thing on the bottom. That can come off. One, two, there. Okay, so that's kind of your uh, draw head pattern. And you can, I mean, you could probably make this a little wider. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's make it one more over. Alright, so we'll throw that there. Take these drills off. There we go. Now not only do we get can drill a little bit of we can drill a little bit of a wider stance, but you can also make sure you cover the edge the outside edge of the ship. So from there, what's next? Well, we need gyroscopes, and we're gonna need thrusters. But the question is, how do I want to put them on? Okay. So we don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Let's grab some thrusters. 
I am going to use the sci-fi thrusters. These come with a the mod pack as well, or, or a, a, a DLC as well. But you can use the standard ions if you want. I'll put on one, two, three, four. Okay. Take Showing terminal off. Braking. Thrusters. Now let's come to the back side here. Let's see. Uh, for looks, they will cover. Alright, so that's forwards and backwards, now we need up, down, left, and right. So, back, whoop. Ion thrusters. Uh, one up here. Uh, let's put three in the front. Two, three. Three in the back. One, two. Then we'll do the same thing on the bottom. So, get up, down, then we need left and right. So we got one, two, three. So we got, mm, we want to make this as maneuverable. We got eight. That's going to be a lot of thrusters, so let's do it this way. So up, down, left, right, forwards, backwards. All right. Now we can at least move, but we can't turn, so let's grab gyroscopes. We got our gyroscopes on. And for this build, I'm going to throw on a programmable block. Yeah, I guess that works. Now the reason I'm going to throw this on is I am going script auto LCD programmable block now there's also one that you can I would also recommend if you are on a planet there's this one whips planetary uh, compass script it's literally a compass that you that gets programmed to the LCD screen and the reason I would use this is if you're trying to make a like an underground base, it, it'll help you get keep going in the right direction, or even a tunnel. Because what, as you, I'm sure you know, once you get you get in the ground, you lose all sense of direction, and you can use your HUD to keep yourself level. But in which direction are you actually going, right and left? You don't, you, you have no idea. And by using a planetary compass, it, it helps you keep keep yourself lined up. But this is going to be for space, so we don't need it. Instead, use automatic LCDs too. And I'll show you why we're going to use that after a bit here. And go ahead. Terminal off. So now, technically speaking, we have a functional miner. Right, we got the drills. We got hooked up to the cargo system. Which we're gonna, and we got we got to maneuver our maneuvering equipment. So what else do we need? Now we need our, our uh, I guess your special gizmos. Let me throw that on there. It'll help uh, stabilize them. Well, not so much stabilize, but keep everything together. So from here, let's throw some connectors on here. So six. I'm going to throw one on each side and 
one on the back. And we could probably actually squeeze in another cargo container as well. Let me see here. Medium cargo. How would that how would that fit in? Uh, I'm not sure that would work. And the reason being is there's no way for it to actually connect properly. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'll throw that there. Right. Because if you see, on the medium cargo container, you only got the big the big connection blocks on, on two sides. And there's a big connection block right there, but it's not actually connecting to the cargo container. So this uh, connector won't actually connect to anything. But if I come in here and grab a curve conveyor tubes. It'll actually connect to the system. And that's fine because those things will be hidden below below the top of the ship. So not, well, let's name these so we don't get them confused here. This is left connectors. So that means number two will be right connector. And the one on the back will be rear connector. And you don't need three. You can you can put a single one on. You can put one on the top. You can put one on the bottom. You can do all sides, top, bottom, um, just both sides, top, bottom, and rear. It just depends on how you want your build to go. And this one will actually be a little tricky to dock with because of the thrusters, but we'll make it work. No biggie. Now next up, there's something you need to... This is kind of important. Hang on here. Two, three, four. Do that for now. And that's camera. And the reason you need cameras is it makes things it makes it easier to dock. So let's grab some cameras here. Now I'm, this can get a little confusing, so I'm gonna turn off some symmetry mode. So this is left docking camera. And you don't have to rename these, but it'll make your life a whole lot easier if you do. Alright. Well, do a little bit of tidy work here. And we're going to do the same to the bottom. So now we can dock, we can hook up the things. So what next? Well, that depends. And we got some empty space here. Uh, it's really not much, well, we'll throw the ore detector in there. Because you do need an ore detector. Otherwise, you'll never find your ore. Go ahead, throw a war detector on there. Turn the range up on that. Now, one of the mods I have on here is it's a high range ore detector, which is why this goes up so high. And I know I've uh, told you guys about that before. But like I said, if you ever see me building something, there's a certain mod that I'm pretty much always using. And that's one of them, actually. And this, yep, I did put it in the slope dose. Ignore me. Okay, so there's your ore detector. Now, what else do we need? What else do I want to put on? 
I could probably throw some extra batteries in there as well. Uh, maybe, maybe. Just know, just know I got a little bit of space in there to work with. Okay, so as you're mining, one of the side effects of mining is picking up stone. There's nothing you can do about it unless you are very, very precise in mining. And if you want to get on the edge of get like all your ore, let's say the iron ore ends right here and the stone begins right here. If you want to get this little sliver, you're going to pick up the stone. If you were following my must-have mods and you had the stone crusher mod, which I use it, then you can use that stone that you mine. And you can turn it into, into more ore, more resources. But what if you don't use the stone crusher mod, or what if you do not want stone? How do you get rid of it? Well, if you bring it back to base with you, it's going to turn into gravel, and that's going to cause a headache because it's going to use up your cargo storage. If you continue mining and you don't want it, it's, it's a waste of space. You know, that, that's cargo room that, that you're not using. So how can you get rid of that? Well, the answer is ejectors. And here's what we're going to do. Right, so connector on there. Excuse me. The curved piece. And the conveyor sorters. And there's a reason for the conveyor sorters. Make sure they're pointing in the right direction. Now, before we go any further, let's go access these. In these conveyor sorters, both of them. No. Turn them off in the inventory screen. Whitelist. Stone. Same thing with the other word. Whitelist. Stone. Do not turn on drain all. Because the reason being is there's going to come a time where you're going to want stone. And it's going to end up in your conveyor sorters. So from here, another line of blocks, right? Now we need to grab our ejectors. And as the name suggests, ejectors throw stuff out. Let's go ahead and access these here. Now with the ejectors, collect, there you turn on collect all on, right, and throw out on, and then just turn them off. Whenever you want to discard your stone, whatever stone in the ship, you turn them on, they automatically collect everything, and they automatically throw it out of your ship. But that's why you need your conveyor sorters here, because otherwise it's going to start collecting all your ore in there and it's going to start ejecting those as well. And obviously you don't want that because you're out mining for a reason. And when you're done ejecting, let's say you... Let's say you uh, want to keep your stone, you just turn them off. That's all you got to do. That's how you get rid of stone. Now these ejectors are not a requirement. If... Like I said, if you want to keep your stone and you want to bring it back with you, you don't even need these. And I'm, not, I'm throwing them on here just because, just to have. But in our world, and you'll probably actually see this miner in the Forgotten World series that we're doing. We use the stone. We use it in, in stone crushers. So I don't even need these. I can take all these off and I can be all the happy, you know, all happy. And technically speaking, you don't even need the automatic LCD script. It's just nice to have. And once again, I, I, let me add as well before I forget. In order to use scripts, then the world has to have scripts enabled. And your game has to be in... Uh, what, what's it called? It has to be in experimental mode. In order to turn experimental on, go into your game settings from your uh, main menu. Okay. Well, that's, that's really about it for now. I have a functional miner. The only thing I need to set up is I need to set up the LCD screens for my automatic LCDs. 
and I need to set up some lights. And the reason I need lights is once you start go and start burrowing into a hole, things get really dark. But I can't do all of that without putting some, some metal blocks on here, some light armor stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put some blocks all over this thing, you know, try to spice it up a little bit with armor. And I will get back to you as soon as I do that, and I'll show you what I did. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. So here's what I got going on. I got some little bit of light armor blocks around a drill, just try to fill it in a little bit so it's not all, all empty space. Uh, some along the top and along the bottom. And then I went and I took some blast door blocks, as you see, to try to protect some of the the vital components from getting knocked off as you're, you're, you're trying to navigate through uh, the, the tunnels and whatnot. So now we need some lights so we can see. So what kind of lights do we want? Well, grab some spotlights here and interior lights as well. So spotlights, two in the top side, on the bottom, this is the forward, now we need the size, one, the sides, grab the back, now we'll need top, and we'll need bottom. Oh, well, it looks like I missed a spot. So what do we got? I'm going to angle this in. Is that what I did? Yep, good enough. Alright, and then the bottom here. Alright, so we got we got lights. And then it's very important you put lights on so you can see. So grab the interior lights. Turn up the radius. You can turn down the intensity if you want. But as long as the radius is up so you can see. The spotlights, the radius is already up, so... Lights. Block a terminal off, turn block off. There we go. So now we got lights. Now it's for our miscellaneous stuff. Well, first off, since I'm going to be using this in our Forgotten World series, I don't want to go getting shot. And I'm sure you probably, if you watch the series, you've probably seen where the one miner already took some pretty significant damage. So let's grab some uh, shields here. So. Shield enhancer, shield, shield emitter, shield controller, and shield modul modulator. So modulator, the enhancer, grab an emitter on there, and shield controller. Let's do this. Let's take that program and we'll walk out. Oops. We'll put the controller there. Grab the program and we'll walk back. Auto. LCDs. Program will walk. Edit. Automatic LCD. Check the code. Modulator. Uh, yes, terrain is ignored by shield because we're a miner. Truck, enhanced structural integrity. Nope. 
Okay, make sure that terminal off. Shield and answer off. Just call fact emitter off, and we'll need the shield controller so easy to access. So that will leave that there. Now I need that blast door block that I accidentally removed. Go ahead and throw that back on. All right, now we got shields. And next we want some weaponry to shoot back. And where are we going to put it? Oh, I know where we'll put it. Now I'm going to be using blaster pack mods here from my uh, weapon core blaster packs. And I'm trying to think which one we want. Very, very fast rate of fire, but slower velocity and very inaccurate except to close range. Monitor fire, good all around weapon. We'll use that. And chances are we should be running anyway. So let, we'll throw one here on the bottom. And we'll go ahead and throw one here on the top. And it looks a little funky. Now, generally, if you're using vanilla weapons, you can just show this off in terminal and hide them. But with weapon core, you got to have a have them grouped. So, call them blasters. And then, then lastly, we just need our screens for the for automatic LCD screens. Now, generally. Automatic LCDs can write the scripts to in the cockpits, inside the cockpits. So I could put them down here, I could put them up here if I wanted to. But there is an ongoing multiplayer bug where scripts cannot write to your cockpits. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some screens, probably one there and maybe one right there. And I, if you recall from my mod pack, I like the sloped LCD blocks. Sloped LCDs, and we'll use. Scrap this one. See how that looks. Well, first off, it's upside down, but that's too close. Now we can see him. We can see one right there. We can see one right there. That's good enough. So let's go back. Um, let's see We gotta set up our screen. So just so we don't get confused here. Right, no C D. No C D panel. Left. No C D panel. And the reason why I put the uh, the brackets in there is for automatic LCDs, you gotta put bracket LCD bracket somewhere in the name. And since I'm typing LCDs in there anyways, I might as well just throw the brackets in with it. So, right command, what do I want? Well, on the, let's put on the left one, custom data. What do I want? I want power time. How much power does it actually have standing? 18 hours. 36 minutes flying, 18 hours standard power. So let's go here. Left, custom data, power, time. Uh, 
Fez is 18, but let's go for 12. And we can't actually, can't actually see the time on there. Uh, that may pose a problem. Okay, um, well the reason I wanted the industrial cockpit was so we can see, but you really can't see past the drills anyway, so let's do this. That's not really any better, because you're still kind of blocking your, your view. Uh, what if we lower that down one? How will that look? I mean, I guess that could kind of work still down a little low, ain't it? What, what if we put them right there? Let's try that. Sorry guys, just a little bit of a trial and error. Uh, Alright, that'll work perfect right there. So let's take, let's take that out, let's take that out, and I, I don't actually want, want it to look like that, so let's put a slope in there, that up, and then we'll put a block. Then we'll put the bricks, the LCDs in. Alright, that'll work. Uh, I don't even know which one to which I can't access. I'm just take that, turn that off. Offline, okay, so. This is. Oh, come on. Right. Bracket, LCD. So on the left one, the slope blocks on this may almost be too much. That's a little better. Right. Screen. Left. No CD screen. Alright, so power. Stop. Distance. Echo. And I want I'm not sure battery percentage. Um, can't remember what to alright. Bear with me guys here. What my god here.
and mastered automatic LCDs too. This is the guide for the script here. Alright, there's power stored. Nope, that works. There we go. Uh, that'll work. So power time, it will show you how much power you have remaining down on the bottom right hand corner. I find that's not so, that is not always accurate because you can drain, say battery 1 will be completely depleted and battery 2 and 3 will be at 50%. Well, okay, so you, I got this much amount of power left in time, but because battery one is completely drained for whatever reason, you lose, say, that would be, what, 33% of your power output. So while three batteries may not be able to power your sh will be able to power your ship, two cannot. And since one is completely drained, now you're, you're struggling for power. So that's why I like to throw the, the second, one, second bar in there. So uh, now let's do this. Now let's up up the text to 1.5. Okay, and let's change the color because oh, I like red. So power time, stop distance, and the reason I've stopped distance in there is any veteran player of Space Engineers knows to never fly directly at the object you want to fly to because if you were if you would accidentally overshoot you just crashed whereas if you aim offset to it if you're to overshoot you overshoot you turn around and come back well this stop distance help you from crashing into certain objects all right on the right hand side we're gonna hide that one I want cargo but it's once again it's been a while since I've done this so I want cargo here. I did not make this one. Not my work, but you've probably seen it on the workshop somewhere.
So automatic LCDs, what this does, this displays your inventory plus all, which means entire inventory. Then you got to add minus components, ingots, tools, ammo, and oxygen. So right now, nothing is going to come up on that screen. But as you start mining, whatever ore, because you, and the reason I say ore is you did not take out ore, you took out everything else. Whatever ore you have will, dis will get displayed on that screen. Now I also want cargo space. So, so let's try this is cargo X. I want that up top. So on the right LCD screen. Cargo X. Cargo use zero percent. So as your cargo starts to get filled up, as you're mining, you got a maximum amount of cargo space that your ship can hold. So let's go ahead and up this to one point. I don't want to go. Well, I guess I can't go that big. Point five. Let's change that to red too. Okay. So now we got the automatic OCD set up. Power time, stop distance, batteries, and this will, will display our cargo as we're mining. You do not need automatic LCDs for your miner. I like to put it in here on mine because it makes my life easier. Now next we need to set up our toolbar at the bottom. So first, I want to be able to take our batteries to recharge on and off. I mean our connector, well... We'll put our toolbar, or working stuff on. Let's put our working stuff on the bottom here. Remove that. So, block tools. So that way I can select the drills. Right? Now, weapons, vanilla weapons, you would do the same thing. You just right-click on it and it'll appear down here. But with vanilla core, or, or weapons core, is a little different. you got to make a group. And then down here, you can... Change it. Where's toggle shoot on off? Groups, blasters. Oh, here, that's what I was looking for. Toggle, click to fire. Now, if I push that. side effect of using these blasters it is it is maxing out the bar every time they go to reload so we will go ahead and take one of those off all right better still not perfect okay so now we got a weapon set up right now we need our, our docking do need braking thrust at the bottom down here. Now I guess technically you don't have to do that because it's a space miner. You can just turn off your inertial dampeners in space without having to worry about it. But I always do it. So next, docking. There's a reason I'm doing that. Uh, strength, I'm going to turn that off. So you can individually select, grab grab your connectors, and individually drag them down here to switch lock. Or you can just grab, put them in a group, and you have one to switch the lock. But let's do this. Batteries. Recharge on off. Thrusters on off. Connectors switch lock. And 
know I need my cameras. Left view, rear view, right view. So why did I do this? Well, whenever I come to dock, I can press number three and I dock my ship. Press number two, turn my thrusters off. Press number one to set my batteries to recharge. And then I got four or five inch sticks to view the camera depending on where I'm docking. Under number one, my drills, I can select my drills, which looks like they're gonna be on at all times. I can hit my blasters if I need to, but you're supposed to be running away anyways. I got my braking thrust here. All right. Now I, should, now I should probably put my lights down here. On and off. And I'll go ahead and turn put my ejectors down here as well. 12 o'clock on and off. And really, that's everything. Now, if I want my shield control, I could probably throw my shield down there as well. So if, for whatever reason, I want my I want to turn my shield off, which I should probably really never be doing that. Sissy emitter. Shield control. Shield up or down. You should never you should never be turning your shields off. Unless well, if you're trying to get close to an enemy vest vehicle or grid without bumping it with your shields. Uh that's all I need. I can throw in, I can probably throw an antenna on here if I wanted to. But I'm not. But it, um, maybe a repair projector. Let's go ahead and go ahead and throw that on there. Alright, now I need a, I need a name for this. Uh, I need a name. I don't even know what to name it. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Um, hell with it. Now, the real reason I'm doing this is because... It doesn't get confused... ...with other groups that, that your ships are docked to. And I just reset my toolbar. Whoops. So let's go ahead and take a blueprint of this, All right?
crashes minor. Set article offset. Horizontal offset. Ah, oh, damn it. Hey, now, if, if we ever suffer any damage, all we gotta do is turn the projector on. Now, the, the controls are pretty obvious because anybody can see that's your drill, weapons, your brake, your thrusts, your lights, your ejectors, and batteries, thrusters, connectors, and cameras. If you find yourself getting confused, you can go ahead and throw probably your control scheme up top. I'm not going to do that. I don't need it. But if you need to, you can go ahead and do that. So, quick recap. What do we do? So, we made the ship, right? We made the, the, the bulk of the ship. We put the cargo containers on it. We put batteries on it. Our connectors. So, we can dock. We got our, thruster, our thrusters, gyroscopes. Our drills. Make sure your drills will cover the the drill radius will cover the ship. Up and down wheel. The horizontal should, but it'll be a little bit tight with these connectors on here. Um, protect important parts. Blast door blocks are good for that. Make sure you got some lighting so you what you can see when you're inside the when you're drilling inside of a hole. And really that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, this tutorial series on making a miner. It gives you an idea of what what to do, and well, I hope you enjoyed it. Get out there, build your own miner. Show me what you got. If you enjoyed this, please go ahead and like the video, leave a comment, and share it for your friends to watch. This is Fireman Dan signing off.